Good morning to our Board of Judges and to all the viewers. Hi, I am Nefa, a fifth grade student from White PS Elementary School in Sarawako, South Sulawesi. First, I would like to express my sincere gratitude for giving me an opportunity to deliver my speech. Sorry, I'm drinking to make me concentrate more in delivering my speech. Say, you're gonna hike on a hot day. What is one super important thing you might need? Yes, it's water. What would we do without water? No, really? Probably not very much, because we need water to live. Every living thing needs water. Can you imagine living just one day without fresh water? No water for drinking, to flush the toilet, or to take a shower. How miserable that would be, right? And do you know that humans just can survive for about 100 hours without drinking? We might think that we have so much water on Earth. The Earth is a water planet because the volume of the water on Earth is mostly 97% and it covers about 70% of the Earth's surface. But most of the water on Earth is in oceans. They are huge and so full of salt. In fact, about 97% of the water on this planet is salty. Only 3% of it is fresh water, but 2% is locked in a frozen glacier and underground where we can't get to it. So that means only 1% of fresh water can be accessible to us, animals, and plants on the surface. Fresh water can be found in lakes, rivers, ponds, and streams, like Madano Lake right behind me. To give you an example, Let's say if the total water on Earth is one gallon jug, then the fresh water, water just equals one teaspoon. That's it. What is fresh water? Fresh water is water that does not contain a large amount of salt in it, and we, as humans, plants, and animals depend on it because we can't survive on salt water. In fact, drinking too much salt water can even kill a person. It's just one reason why fresh water is very important. However, it is just ready in an extremely limited amount. Yes, the topic of my speech today is, should we use water wisely? The needs of water increase year by year by the increasing number of the human population and tends to exceed the amount of water that is actually available. And do you know that the water crisis has already threatened a quarter of the world's population now? While in Indonesia, currently water availability is classified as scarce to critical in parts of Java and Bali, while other places are predicted to experience water scarcity by 2045. Continuous drought, withdrawal of water for irrigation and other human uses, climate changes, dry up lakes and rivers and a lack of water supply, crop failure, collapse of fisheries, and many more. Those facts are terrible, right? We definitely don't want to experience it. There are easy ways to save water. Here's some tips I've done. First, I turn the tap off while I'm brushing my teeth. I can save 18 liters. Second, I have a shower instead of bath, and I save 45 liters. Third, I use an eco-friendly toilet for flushing. Fourth, my mother puts a full washing load on rather than half loads, and we save 80 liters. Fifth, my father fixes the leaking tap, and we save 5,500 liters per year. Making these small changes can save a lot of water every day and help protect our beautiful environment and save the future generation. So how about your water use? Do you already see a place you can improve? One last tip for all of you. Share this issue with other friends and neighbors. So if everyone learns how to save a little water, we all can save a lot. Will you? Share as much as possible about water conservation on Instagram, Facebook, and other social medias instead of posting nonsense. Practice what you've said. You'll never convince anyone to conserve water if you aren't doing it yourself. I'm Nefa. Thanks for listening. Have a good day.